Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to utilize this guide for Ultimate Golf. We're going to go through and just kind of show you how to use this for tour play. So this is a perfect example of one of the holes that you might see. You can see towards max. We got our Pro D1 ball equipped. Make sure that you do that. Without that, you're not going to get as good as a ring count. So if you're using Pro D1, make sure that you use that. And let's see. There used to be a sweet spot. Where is it? Down here? Is that where it is? So maybe something to the effect of this. Five rings. Just trying to get off the tee. Starting to look like I might not have made it down that hill. Nope, we still did. So since I didn't know how to look for that sweet spot, you can see I wasted just a little bit more time. But we should be naturally able to kind of work through these adjustments. Here's where Max Club is. So at Max Bigfoot, we'll do something to the effect of this. Five, five, six rings. Thinking of keeping my spin off for this case, since we're going to be so close to Max. Six rings, you may need to go just a tad bit more because you're not utilizing any backspin. But you can see the gist of what we're doing. You know, as I mentioned, since we didn't utilize backspin, over adjust, probably shouldn't have curled it. I wasn't sure about the way that that green broke, so I was just kind of guessing. As you can see with what we're trying to do, we're just kind of firing through the shots. And a similar approach for the shootouts is you just kind of real quick, just kind of line it up. Pretty tough shootout hole here. Bigfoot. And eight. You know, maybe we're six for max, something like that. Ten for max. Is it even possible to get this up here? Twelve rings. Yep, looks like we can. Just a little bit of overpower. As you can see, we're able to real quick just kind of get dialed, um, at least in the ballpark of where we need to go. Let's just work through one more real quick. Just so you guys can kind of see the process, you know, for different holes. It might have been just a hair light on that adjustment since it was probably about 10 rings for max. As you can see, ballpark. We're just trying to get in the ballpark here. Let's see if we can find this sweet spot just a little bit faster this time. Five miles. All right, around one per ring. Gonna do something like this. Just kind of real quickly adjust. Maybe a little over pull because we're pulling down a hill. Anytime you pull down a hill, it's probably gonna land a little short on you. So a little over pull is always a good thing here. So 
So let's see if we make it to the bottom of the hill this time. Perhaps if we put the right spin on, we can also stay in the fairway. Let's see if that happens. So sure enough, we are in the fairway. I forget if this gets down to wedge or if it's short iron, it might be short iron. Oh, it's a wedge. So this is my hive span. So what I would typically do is just zoom out real quick and just say, okay, 80% is my setup. Maybe a little bit of backspin, something like this, 5-1, 8%, 10 rings. There's no sense of rushing this adjustment because you can hold it. If there's enough time for me to dial up a hive shot, I can probably get through anything. And there's, like I mentioned, you know, you might as well give it a go because as you can see, just a hair short. But, you know, if you can get dialed even on being able to scan hive real quick, be able to do it, you can pretty much do anything. Now, sometimes the shootouts get a little bit tricky just because it gets you in between clubs on some of these holes. So let's real quick just kind of get an idea. This is kind of in between these two, usually. Making something to the effect of this. We're gonna try, I guess, a full backspin shot here. Towards min club. Keep in mind that our, we're starting at min, so we're gonna put min in. It's just gonna say right around 10 rings. So that's more or less what we're doing. So I'm gonna go five. Just try to land right in front of the hole, kind of like you see me doing right here. And then we're just going to push up another five. So I know it's going to be, well, not quite five. Maybe just a hair short of five. So nine and a half. So I, you see what I did? I eyeballed the first five, and then I pulled just a little bit more. And with the full backspin shot, we're able to get it in close. Just If we would have used just a little bit more to the right, it would have been perfect. But you get the idea of what we're trying to do. We're just trying to do real fast, quick dial adjustments. Use the wind directional tool. Like I said, since this is min, we put it right at min. Gives us the nine and a half value that we need. Um, and then if we can just basically get the positioning. Like I said, I had to eyeball those first five rings. So you're just kind of visualizing. I've gone five rings. I need to go another four and a half. That type of thing. But, you know, we very well could have made that hive shot and avoided the shootout altogether. So do give it your uh, good effort on every time. And if you ever, you know, see that opportunity, definitely try to take advantage of it and just work on that speed building for hive. Um, these clubs that are going to be just a little bit tougher for you to, uh, to dial up real quick. But uh, keep all that in mind, you know, practice that speed and good luck out there. Take care.